And finally, the world again. A short car ride, a ray of sunlight. After 520 days locked away in windowless, cramped cells to simulate the length of a return journey to Mars, ordinary life has never tasted so good for these six pioneers. After the heavy metal doors of the mock-up spaceship finally opened, the mixed Russian, Chinese and European crew could hide neither their tiredness nor their excitement. On the Mars 500 mission, we have achieved on Earth the longest space voyage ever, so that mankind can one day greet a new dawn on the surface of a distant but reachable planet. The Mars 500 experiment aims to answer one of the big unknowns of deep space travel. Can people stay healthy and sane during a long-term mission to Mars or the Moon? The first challenge was to see whether such an international crew would manage to live and work together in a space of just over 500 cubic meters for one and a half years. They did exceptionally well. I mean, uh, I, no real conflict. I thought, I think that most people that would have expected things like that. Instead, the biggest challenge for the crew was to survive monotony. The problem came from the repetition. We ate the same thing week after week and sometimes it got a bit difficult. Especially when we didn't have specific food from our countries. For example, I really missed having a good croissant on a Sunday morning. Now, after 520 days of eating stock supplies, Fresh food is definitely a welcome change. During the mission, however, it was essential that the crew lived with the same constraints that the real astronauts on interplanetary missions will one day encounter. Dried fruits. To obtain reliable scientific data, it all had to be as real as possible. Since the focus here is the isolation and confinement aspects of, of a Mars mission, the focus has been largely on behavioral and performance and psychological function, uh, the functioning of the team, but also the, the effects of the stress of isolation and the effects that stress has of f different physiological function, like the immune function, for example. Now all this valuable information is being analyzed by scientists and the search for post-flight effects continues. These German scientists use a CT scanner to compare the muscle volume and bone condition of the crew members before and after their 520 days in isolation. The Mars 500 study is the latest and largest in a long line of isolation tests conducted at the Institute for Biomedical Problems in Moscow. In 1967, to test autonomous life support systems, three researchers were locked in a compact steel chamber for one year. But with only 12 square meters to share and no personal space, tensions were not far from the surface. For a whole year, we dwelled in that confined space. When two people were sitting at the table, the third couldn't make his way past without brushing someone. As you can imagine, it starts to get on your nerves after a year. The success of Mars 500 is largely due to the rigorous selection of the participants. The final six were chosen from thousands of applicants for their psychological stability, professional characteristics and their physical shape. Now, having survived these 17 months in isolation, they can happily report, mission accomplished. <laughs>